Hey YouTube, Mark Kaufman here, and today I want to show you a few eBay pickups that I've recently gotten. Now, two of these are actually brand new items, and then the rest I actually picked up pre-owned. Now to be clear, I've teased a few of these, and I've already done a video on one, and um, these knives here are all knives that I've bought within this month and they are finally all here I can do this video and show you guys what I've recently picked up now one is in my pocket and that is this knife I actually bought new scales for it and I've been using it today but it's another Tinker Small and this one shows a little bit of wear so I ended up just saying to myself I'm gonna use this one the other one is just in my uh, private collection it's just a fun reminder that hey this is MacGyver's knife in the very first episode and I think that's pretty cool now I was sure to track down the uh, exact one that he used in the episode which is the one with the can key Phillips with the rounded not the squared off Phillips head so this is the exact one that he used in that first episode of MacGyver and then it's got the non sewing eye all there so a small tinker right there is my very first reveal then I picked up this knife this is a Victorinox Prince it says Manville OEM and this is just going to be an automotive equipment um, company I don't know what they do but um this I actually picked up from a seller in Russia and it's taken probably about a month to finally get here but I'd never seen a blue one and especially in this condition I mean this thing is very 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 clean and this I believe is probably from I would have to say the 80s probably the early 80s and we have a very nice clean blade here I mean, this thing looks like it was just gifted to somebody and they threw it in a drawer and never used it. And the only wear that is actually on there is just from what was in the drawer messing about with it. But the reason why I like these knives is because it has this beautiful, beautiful nail file here. You have this nice cross etched filing here and then you have this beautiful nail cleaner. So that is the second knife. The other one I actually got from the same seller from Russia and it is this companion and it has this insignia on there and I don't know what company that is. I could not find anything on it, but I just thought this blue Alox was beautiful and then it had nothing on the back. And this little insignia is pretty unique looking. Again, I think this one's probably from the early 80s and the reason why I say that is because it still has the black carbon split spring so the uh, the springs were transitioning from the single leaf to the I guess the double leaf and they were still using this carbon compound and because of that it actually patinaed so you'd get this black spring and then Victorinox eventually switched over to the stainless steel springs so that is why I think it is early 80s so I picked up that one the next one is actually an AMEFA. Let me get this open. Military knife. This is a very, very interesting knife indeed, and I will have a video coming out on it. Now, this knife is not a Victorinox knife, it's a very unique knife made in Germany, and you can see the production date is 72KL. And the KL designates that this is an army issued knife. Now this one I did clean up a little bit. We've got a little bit of grease there. That um, it, it, it came to me in horrible shape. I've refinished the blade and added a new satin finish to it. And I've given it a new edge. Which I have to say is a pretty toothy edge. I didn't give it a very polished one at that. This steel was stupid easy to sharpen up. It actually took only a few strokes on each side to bring it back. And that was on a coarse stone. We have brass liners. And this spring is incredible. Just listen to this. Holy cow. Like, um, 
when, when I'm closing this, I have to be very careful. And when I'm opening it, I have to be very careful. But what's unique about this knife is that it has a cap lifter, has the wire stripper in the cap lifter. Again, very nice snap there. And then it has an awl, which I have sharpened. So I'm trying to be very careful. So it has the awl, but we're missing another tool. Hmm. That will be revealed in the video on this knife. So that is another one that I picked up. Then I picked up a companion or not a companion. It's called an escort, but I've also seen these uh, called princesses, but I believe the, the agreed name is the escort. And this is a, another Alox, Victorian Ox. And I am so sorry. This is not an escort. I actually picked up an escort and I am not showing it. I completely forgot where it is. Well, it is actually in a bundle of knives that I am going to be photographing for an upcoming video on nail files. So that is going to be missed. But this is actually another Prince. So this is not a escort. It is a Prince. I didn't see that other blade there. But the other one that I have is very similar to this. It is a silver Alox. So my mistake. Um, but this is a Prince. So you've got two blades and then you've got this beautiful, yet again, nail file. But this one here looks like it was a, a fail in the QC here. You can see that the cross hatching, I'm going to see if I can, you can see it has kind of a wave in it. It's not perfectly cross hatched. And because of that, this thing actually cuts very poorly. So not all of them are perfect. So sorry about the mistake there. The next one up is going to be a Wanger Forester. I know I mentioned that I had gotten another handyman, but this is actually a Forester. I completely forgot it has the corkscrew, but that's fine. Um, the Forester has a main blade and this one has Lonza printed on it. And then it has the nail file. And then you've got the cap lifter, screwdriver, you have your can opener. And then what I really like is you have these 85 millimeter scissors, and then you have a very interesting saw blade. So that is the Vanger, and then you also have the reamer in the back, and then of course you've got the corkscrew. So picked up that, I actually paid, I think I paid like 10 bucks for that. So that that's pretty, pretty incredible find. Even better of a find, is this knife so you guys have been telling me over and over and over and over and this is mostly the swiss army guys because i compare a lot of knives that would blend into one knife very well and they're just like why don't you pick up a ranger why don't you pick up a ranger why don't you buy a ranger well the ranger is about 55 to 40 dollars and i didn't feel like spending that money on a swiss army knife i can get two or even three pre-owned ones and they could be pretty rare or hard to find at that price. So I actually found this Ranger for $21. And this thing is very, very nice. Only a few fingerprints on it. I've been using it all day today, but we've got a very nice clean blade there. And then we've got your pen blade here. And then what we have is the 1990s style metal saw. Now this has a different compound metal to it. I don't know what alloy they used, but for me, it just feels less robust than the newer, uh, the newer metal saws. But for me, I think this will be fine. If it can handle a fingernail, it'll be fine in my collection. Then you also get a saw. And what I want you guys to see is this. It still has the burrs from the factory. Those will come off when you use the saw. This means whoever owned this never used this saw. Those little burrs are from the factory. That's coming off of the sharpening belt. And when I saw that, I was like, man, I got a really good knife. So we have that and then we have the scissors. And they're actually the newer scissors with the cam system in there with the little divot for the spring so I really like that 
And then, of course, you have your opening layer, the cap lifter, and then you have your can opener and then two small screwdrivers. But what you get on the back is you get your, you get your corkscrew and then you get, if I can get it, oh my gosh, they always make that so hard, but that is a small chisel and then you get a flathead screw driver there, you get the parcel hook, and then you get the awl. So for me, I am so excited to get this for just 20 bucks, about 20 bucks. Then the next really great find I picked up was this one. This is a Champion Plus, which is essentially the original Champion just with updated materials and a few different changes like the pen cartridge but this is essentially your champion from victorinox has almost everything you'll ever need i bought this for twenty dollars and i have to say this is one that will never leave my collection so that was another pickup and then these two were just knives that i've owned before and i just decided i'm gonna buy again this is a victorinox super tinker so essentially it's a tinker you've got the phillips in the back but because this is the super tinker this is actually the hiker my mistake the hiker has the saw and then the super tinker has the scissors now you're probably saying to yourself well why don't you just buy the field master i have a field master and that lives in the garage uh, that lives in a toolbox in the garage and i find that to be perfect there and usually i don't need the saw and the scissors at the same time so when i'm going on a walk and i may need a walking stick i take this with me it's got a few other things i might need to use for tightening up a bolt or whatever that might be on that hike and then this one here is great for the office because i have found the phillips is very useful i used to really like the corkscrew but i'm starting to like the Phillips head a little more now. So that is a few of the new knives that I have picked up. And I have to say, you will need to spend some time on eBay. Okay. I am not just finding these because I'm talking to people or I'm doing trades. I am continuously looking around on eBay and hunting for these things. So if it looks like I'm making it easy that I'm getting all this, it's not. This is like lots of hours of hunting, scoping different keywords, and finding the sellers that are selling these. Because this one here was listed under Swiss Army Knife Compact Tool, okay? And this person didn't know what this was. Um, I wasn't really going to tell them because I've been hunting for one for a while, but that's what they had that under. And then this one was like Swiss Army Knife Multi-Tool um easy carry or something like that it didn't even have what this was and he wanted 20 bucks so you got to kind of hunt put in different keywords things that you may not even think about and these things pop up because there are people out there that have these things and they don't really want them like this one here was listed under kl29 uh not 29 72 um i think it was german army knife or something like that and I was just like, you know what, for the price, I can't pass this up. And I've been tempted to keep this for myself and use it, but for how much you can get for these and how rare they are, I might as well just sell it. So that is a few of my recent pickups from eBay. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I am again, sorry for that, uh, the escort that I missed out on, but I will be doing a video on all of these. So till the next one, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.